Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got these two identical semicircle such that their angle of inclination is 45 degrees and moreover their diameter is 22 units and now we are going to calculate the area of this green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect this point A with this center O. Let's go ahead and connect these two points. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And as a result, we get our right triangle AOB, as you can see over here. And moreover, this radius is 11 units. And now let me go over this basic review pretty quick. This blue shaded region is called sector. And this red shaded region is called segment. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this red segment. And now we know that the area of this red segment is equal to the area of this sector minus the area of this triangle AOB. And now let's recall the area of a sector formula. So the area of a sector formula is pi r square times theta divided by 360 degrees. In our case, our angle theta is 90 degrees. And moreover, our radius is 11. So therefore, the area of this sector is going to be simply pi r in our case is 11. So square times theta in our case is 90 degrees so this is going to become 90 divided by 360 so therefore the area of the sector is going to be 11 square is same as 121 pi times 90 divided by 360 reduces to one fourth so therefore our this area of the sector is going to be 121 pi divided by 4. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area of a triangle equals to a half time base time height. So the area of this uh, triangle AOB is going to be simply a half times our base is 11 and our height is 11 as well. So I can write down 11 times 11. So therefore the area of this triangle AOB turns out to be 11 times 11 is 121 divided by 2. So thus the area of this red segment turns out to be simply 121 pi divided by 4 minus 121 divided by 2. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green shaded region now. And the area of this green shaded region can be achieved by calculating the area of this whole semicircle minus the area of this red segment that we have already calculated. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square. Since we are dealing with the semicircle, so we are going to divide this one by two. So the area of this semicircle is going to become pi r squared divided by 2. So therefore the area of this semicircle is going to be pi r. In our case r radius is 11. So 11 square divided by 2. 
So that is going to give us 11 square is 121 pi divided by 2. So thus the area of this semicircle turns out to be a 121 pi divided by 2 minus the area of this red segment is this one. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks minus uh, in the bracket I'm going to put down 121 pi divided by 4 and then minus 121 divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and simplify this equation so this is going to become 121 pi divided by 2. Let's go ahead and distribute this negative sign so that's become negative 1 21 pi divided by 4 negative and negative become positive 1 21 divided by 2 and now we can see that our denominators are 2 4 and 2 let's go ahead and make the common denominator 4 so therefore I'm going to multiply and divide this term by 2 and likewise I'm going to multiply and divide this term by 2 as well. So therefore we can write this one 121 times 2 is going to become 242 pi divided by 4 minus 121 pi divided by 4 and then plus 242 divided by 4. Now this could be written as we can put 4 as a common denominator 242 pi minus 121 pi and then plus 242 and now let's go ahead and simplify furthermore 242 pi minus 121 pi is going to give us 121 pi mine then plus rather 242 divided by 4 and now we can see 121 and 242 we can factor out 121 outside so that is going to give us pi plus 2 and divided by 4 and this is the area of our this green shaded region so thus the area of this green shaded region turns out to be equal to 121 divided by 4 times pi plus 2 square units and if we replace this pi by 3.14 our area is going to be approximately equal to 155.49 square units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.